Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Ahmed Salim recording for the Daily Reminder. My dear brothers and sisters, on the Day of Judgment, when we go and meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we get held accountable for everything we've done, the first thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to ask us is going to be about salah. Salah or prayer is one of the most important fundamental things in a Muslim's life. It is a differentiator between kufr and Islam. It is what separates us from non-Muslims. This video particularly is about three main things that I have seen time and again, time and again, where practicing brothers I don't know about sisters, but where practicing brothers are not aware that their salah is being nullified. And they're totally oblivious of it. Uh, either they're, they know it, but they're unconsciously you know, not paying attention to it. Whatever the reason is, but it's a very big concern. First and foremost, which is while making wudu. So many times I have found people in a rush, they're making wudu and they forget the elbows or they forget their ankles or they forget to to wash their face completely if you have a single hair span width left dry while making wudu know that your wudu is incomplete and your salah is not valid another thing that you find time and again is and this is an extremely disgusting thing by the way which is that when a person goes down to make sajda or sometimes ruku, since they're wearing those slim fit, tight jeans, tight shirts, you know, a good portion of their butt gets shown from the back. And this is, this is a very common thing and people don't realize that, you know, if, again, a single hair span's width gets uncovered from your setup, from a setup of a man, which is navel to knee, anything gets uncovered then your salah instantly gets nullified. The third, and, and this, is, this is the most prevalent one, which is excessive movement. Some of the fuqahas have li listed that, you know, anything above three consecutive movements for an individual nullify, during salah would nullify his salah. I.e. that means if he goes like this, and then he goes like this, and like this, that's it. That nullifies the person's salah. There are three consecutive movements that are not, not part of salah. And these things would nullify his salah. So be very, very careful about these three things. So keep this in mind that you know when we're standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is a very great maqam. This is a very, very you know, great, you know, when we're standing, it's something monumental that you're standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, you know, try to dress for the equation, smell for that equation, you know, don't be stinking. Uh, so many people come in the masajids and you know subhanAllah you can't even pray next to them and the same person when he goes to his office he has a totally different attitude so let's give salah just a little bit more importance than what it deserves in our lives because that's the first thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to ask me and he's going to ask every single one of us or one of you that's watching this video with this we come to an end this was Ahmed Salim recording for the daily reminder if you liked this video, then please share it with your family, with your friends. Definitely share, with, share it with all your male friends or male relatives because this is very common for all of them and I want this message to spread as far as it can, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Donate now. Go to www.thedailyreminder.org slash donate and stay updated by joining our network's social links.